right now we're going to call together all of our honorees and group together. So we're going to begin calling them right now, our Hall of Famers. Let's go with Sean Brown first. You are our athletic Hall of Famers. And you can read their entire bio in the program. And Ron Conyers, please give it up for Ron as well. We're going to put all three of these gentlemen together so we can get a, a group photo. And then Desiree. Hold on a second here. I want you to hold it up for me. It says the WHBC. Let's see if we can get Ms. Brown. Absolutely. WHBC Athletic Hall of Fame inductee award being presented to Sean Brown, the 1988 All New England Track and All State Basketball. Again, let's give another round of applause to Sean Brown. I'll give you a moment to just take a couple of minutes, here, not a minute, Ms. Brown, a minute to share a couple of words with us. Well, sure. Have. On my way here, I did 80 on the Mayor Parkway. Got pulled over by the state troopers. The state trooper comes up in the car, wants to see license and registration. Give the license and registration. I told him, I, you know, I apologize for speeding. I'm headed to a dinner, an awards dinner. So the officer says to me, oh, well, he says, uh, where is that? I said, North Haven. Oh, Kim Brown. He said, 20 something years they've been doing that. Huh? I said, well, I him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm getting an award today. He said, hey, okay, all right. And, you know, he says, uh, I'll be right back. He comes back. You know, he hands me my license, my registration, my insurance. Needless to say, I got the ticket. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Mom. I can see the impact that I get from Miss Carol Brown. So thank you, friends and family, for supporting me in this. Receiving awards from the Congresswoman, uh, the Comptroller, Susan Bisewitz, State Senator Tony Hart. I'd like to Richard Turner, who I uh, had a tremendous career in uh, track and field at West Haven and Carroll. Uh, let me read the plaque. Can I do this? That's too small, Des. Can you read this one? No. <laughs> While they all talk about me and talk trash, I'm trying very hard to keep this in a... Dee Turner Jr., long jump, and all-state basketball player as well, presented by the West Haven Black Coalition, February 2009. You didn't have any trouble with the police coming over here, did you? Okay. Richard is pretending to be shy, but he's Pat Turner's son, so he can't be shy. <laughs> Say a few words, Richard. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> The WHBC Athletic Hall of Fame inductee award, Mr. Ronald Conyers, 1984 All-State Track and Football. One more time, congratulations to you. Of course, I have to say thank you. Um, not a stranger to this event. I've been here a couple of times, dragged by Ms. Brown and sometimes by her son. And uh, I really want to thank you. I'm really humble. It's not very often that you... Uh, you get credited for what you do. And um, I didn't expect this. Um, again, I'm, I'm really honored. I'm happy that my family showed up and supported me. It's most of them standing over there. Also, I'm very happy that the church came by. Thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you. Enjoy the dinner. It's nice that I just love, other than here at my family and my extended family's table, this is the extended Brown family, and I see David Sneed's wife is missing in action. David Sneed's wife, where is David? 
Your wife is missing in action. <laughs> anyway, when you see this dark sneak, and of course everybody knows who this is, 49 years he's been with, uh, with Carol Brown. Athletic Hall of Fame Award mentioned Mrs. Hattie Turner, but we all know Hattie Turner from years back. She's always dealt with kids in some way. She's a community activist in her own way. Hattie Turner. You know, somebody asked me, what is wrong with my eyes? I just can see Rossi in the 7th District in West Virginia. Debbie Collins. City Councilman Christopher Sutts. <laughs> but this is Arthur Rossi, and people tend to forget about the hard book over the years. Mac and Val. <laughs> this is Dante Burns, Capuano's family, Denise Burns, which is. And everybody knows Mrs. B. She used to work at Bradley's, and her name is Mrs. So she is Mrs. B to all of us in West Virginia. Last year, community service recipient Jackie Bracy. Joan Jenkins owns a company in New Haven, but Joan, would you tell us what it is because I've forgotten? It's children in placement. We are community advocates for abused and neglected children. Thank you, Joan. And the photographer for the inner city, Marjorie Mills. We'll just travel on over here. He's a principal at Style School in West Virginia. Right here. Now I know you all know James Barnum. James Barnum, turn around. Let everybody see you. He was our speaker three years ago. And this is Dr. Salise Williams, Provost of Southern Connecticut State University. Now, are there other people at this table that I just may not have met? I do see Aaron Washington, Assistant Associate Director of Student Affairs. Okay, I missed it up. What are you? You're a so Associate Dean of Students. I can make those that we all recognize tonight. Outstanding young people. Now at quality of table, two of our founding members, Hazel and Bill Johnson from Barrick AME Zion. Representing Reverend Goldston's church is his daughter Cookie. Mr. Brian Belzer. Am I correct? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mary Condi, we know Vicki as Vicki Mays, which is Mary Condi, president and secretary of the coalition is Claudia Davis and her husband Mike, who is sometimes our DJ. Yeah. Emma Smith and his right hand administrative assistant, or what's your title? Coordinator of Financial Assets Development, Sandra McKinney. And the woman that is behind the power of Howard Kennedy. There are two ladies that I must, or Sal, or Sal, Helena Rogers and Carol. These are people from Howard K. Hill, the man who does some extraordinary work. This is Sean Brown's table, and this is his wife, Christine. If you go to Splash, any Splash in Connecticut, table, Audrey Tyson, the lady who gives the 
the largest fashion shows I've seen in years. Audrey Tyson. You don't have genetics on mental health. Now you know, Mrs. Fitzgerald is where I buy all my pots. Grace Henderson. Our chief of police in West Haven, Chief Ron Quagliani and his wife, Grace Our superintendent of school, this young man, Neil Cavallaro. And the president of the West Haven Federation of Teachers, Patty Fasco. And her husband, John. And the lady who's been in West Haven for longer than I've been in West Haven, in the school system longer than I've been in West Haven, this is Myrtle Stalling. This is the, the family of Joe Brown. And this is his very shy sister who is married to our own Varsity coach, Harry Bosley. You know, sometimes you have that little, you know. And now, like, I don't have a senior moment, I'm still 39, you couldn't be. Joe Brown's babysitter is right here. I got it. I got it. I want to be seen now. John John Liotti is someone I met in the Obama campaign. He got involved with hats on for Obama. And he didn't just get involved. He made flyers with them all over Woodbridge, all over North Haven. We didn't even know this guy. John Liotti did a heck of a job. He went to New Hampshire, he was made, trying to get out the vote for Obama. Please stand, John Liotti. School board member of West Haven, Sean Meyer and his wife Margaret. If you're going to see a dramatic event done by kids, go to West Haven High. This is a lady who does all the theatrical events. Stand with Margaret. West Haven Chamber of Commerce President, Bob Rosenberg. We're glad to have them here with us again this year. I know we all remember the man who started the Negro Business and Professional Men's Association. He's here tonight, Gerald Cart. We have here some water barriers. I believe this is a water barrier table. Sitting here is Dr. Marcia Tejeda, who is a gynecologist in Waterbury, and would you be so kind as to introduce your husband to me again? So when you're looking for commercial real estate, you call Marcia. Barbara Dublin, I've introduced over the years, and Very involved with the Business and Professional Women's Association is Dorothy Gomez. Executive Director of the Adult Daycare in West Haven for over 30 years is Ethel Anderson. We have the Coxes with us who are celebrating their 46 wedding anniversary. Put your hands together for the Coxes. This table, I believe, is a marriage choice. Now you need to stop eating to stand up. We had a co-sponsor this year. This is the first year we've ever had a co-sponsor. So a marriage choice, U.S. Healthcare, please stand. We thank you for your support and your sponsorship. This is Ron Conyers' family. 
Ron Connors received the Athletic Hall of Fame Award tonight. This is Ron Family. Thank you for coming. Oh, oh there are more of you. Sitting in Ron John Rencott. Now remember I told you that when you have trouble with your the president of the Greater New Haven, I believe, Business and Professional Women's Association is Johnny Thorne and heading the soup kitchen at the Emanuel Food Emergency Shelter is her husband Wesley Thorne. Very active musically about 50 years ago. And I believe the register finally did a big story on her because she brought all of her musical talent to the greater New Haven community. Please put your hands together for Natalie Dutton Hardy. Now this is my really good friend. She's a little shy. One of you tonight we are going to daughter, represent and the recipient of that award is this man's wife, Sam Prosper. And we have another award for you tonight, Reggie, and we will give it to you. But he was a coach in West Haven, and it was his team that put West Haven on the map. Congratulations, Reggie. You did a great job. I said, I don't know how he was so speechless. This is his mom, who is a former school board member in West Haven. You have been actively involved in West Haven for many, many, many years. And I'd like you to, to know that Bernice Bowman was a former vice president of the coalition, and she was very active in West Haven politics. Chairwoman of the Democratic Women's Club. She worked in the purchasing department. She did a little bit of everything. Served on the town committee, very active in West Haven. Sitting next to her, these two ladies have been friends in town. Sitting next to her is Gladys Whitney, who served on the school board, did a whole lot of activities in West Haven and just remained active, which is why her daughter Lisa is a commissioner and her daughter Patricia is a vice president, vice principal at West Haven High School. <laughs> this is Mrs. Henderson, if you remember Elwin Henderson, our first African American fire chief. This is his great mom. <laughs> and this is Richard Ford. What a voice this man has. He's quite an artist. Nice to see you, Richard. 